but I also want to hear from the head coach as well. Kevin Sumlin is with us. Coach, congrats on the close that you and your program had. Want to get to some of those players, but Yogi was just raving about Paul Rhodes, your new defensive coordinator. Take me through the process of hiring him and why he's the perfect fit for you in Tucson. Well, you know, I've known Paul for a long time, and, and we've competed against each other, you know, as assistant coaches and, and head coaches being in the Big 12 and, and, and different places in the Midwest. So very familiar with his style, very familiar with his scheme. Um, and we had the opportunity to, to sit down and visit, and I, I thought it was a great fit for us. Uh, his family thought it was a great fit for, for him here in Tucson. And, and uh, as you said, Yogi, you know, he's a very charismatic coach, uh, very, very emotional, great, great, great schematically, but also great as a, as a motivator, and, and we're happy he's here. What was it like going on the road with him and finishing? You get a guy like Chantrell Key, a really athletic guy who will play all over your defensive front. I'm kind of curious about him specifically and the presence of Paul. Well, it's, uh, I think it's the presence of uh, really there are th uh, three new coaches on defense. You know, Paul is, is as you know, uh, a great motivator. Uh, Andy Boo comes to us and, and is coaching outside linebackers, is, has been a coordinator, has been at Cal, has been at Stanford. Uh, another great coach, really experienced, and and you know I, I think that uh, the, the the addition of, of all of our new coaches um, on defense really helped us close in, in the end here with some of these big bodies. And uh, Stan Egan's been around for a long time, and, and uh, all three of those guys when we go went into homes uh, were outstanding, and I think uh, their impact is just beginning in this program. Coach, who are some of those impact players that you're making reference to in terms of this close that, that are going to help you this season? Well, I think all those guys that you saw today, you know, we, we quietly we signed 15 guys uh, before signing with them, the early signing date. But uh, today, you know, we, we've got a couple guys that we're, we're waiting on, maybe one in particular right now. I don't know if he's announced yet, but um, we're not done. And, uh, uh, you know, I think that uh, the, the addition of our defensive coaches, you can see the number of players that we signed. Um, you know, defensively closing in the last two weeks, I think our defensive coaches have had an impact. And as you brought up, I think Frank Brown is 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 a, a tremendous player, uh, probably one of the best players in the city of Houston, and and a guy that uh, people really tried to come on late, um, and we held off. He's you know he's been committed for a, a while now, but uh, he's a guy that can have an immediate impact in this program. Another immediate impact guy, we know his brother, Colin Schooler. We got to know Brennan Schooler at a different institution in this conference. But how did that one shake out? And what's his presence been like with a young receiving core on your roster? Yeah, you know, Brendan is, is a guy that, uh, you know, it, it worked out. I think, uh, I know we're happy, but I'm, I'm pretty sure his parents are really happy right now because they don't have to wear two different jerseys <laughs> and hats and things like that. But he's... <laughs> You know, he's he's an experienced player. He's an all-league player on special teams. He's, you know, I think what he brings to to us is you know that experience, but also the maturity. Um, and, and he's been in this league. He's played in big games in, in special teams. Been in situations. Yeah, that's one part of it. But he also brings that maturity to the to the locker room and, and uh, with the team. That's you know we got a young quarterback. We got some young guys that are playing. Um, but uh, he, he's got that experience and, and, and knows how to win, and I think that's going to be important to us um, on the field, but also in the locker room. In the locker room, in the weight room, i got to ask about Aaron Blackwell, because we did some research. We took a deep dive into social media and saw this dude with his long, flowy hair, pumping iron, and now you get him as a graduate transfer to help out that side of the ball. I'm curious if, A, you've worked out with him, and have we seen anything like this on the screen right now? And, B, what, what do you think about him adding a veteran element? Yeah, it's another, you know, when you, you this, these grad transfers can really have an impact on your program. You know, here's a guy that uh, obviously brings attitude, right, in, in, uh, in the middle of our defense, is a, a real nose um, in, a, in a 3 4 defense and, and has experience. But um, uh, as you can see, strength is something that he does not lack in, uh, <laughs> and, and, and attitude. So, you know, he's a guy that we're looking forward to, 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 to getting on the field, but also. You know, another older guy in the locker room that is going to bring some attitude to this football team. 
I'm just, I kind of want to see that video again. That might be like <laughs> one of those things I just see uh, on, on repeat constantly. I think the scream on the back end is what did it for me. Hey, wh why not, Coach? I, I know you probably aren't uh, going to get tired of something like this out there. You know, it's interesting, too, because I, I, I would imagine, too, just getting guys into your program like this is certainly going to be helpful because there's an experience factor that you had alluded to. But I know a year ago when we had this conversation about your class, I thought about Khalil Tate and all the hype around him and how much of a, a, a piece that is for a potential recruit to know they get to play with a guy like that. Grant Cannell last season gets some meaningful burn at the end of the year. And I'm just wondering, when you go into a home and you talk to offensive players, how much excitement is there around playing with a guy like that? Yeah, there, there's a lot of excitement about that. You know, when people have seen him play, you know, the, his start uh, against UCLA and, and win – you know, on, on television didn't hurt us in recruiting. You know, when you have young players and uh, across the board, you know, I, I think uh, they help you in recruiting because guys want to know who they're going to play with. And, and um, that certainly does not hurt us at all, particularly in, in Houston. And it may have had an effect on, on Frank Brown being here. But, uh, you know, the, we've got some good players uh, across the board. And, and as you said, you know, good players want to play with other good players because, because they want to win. Speaking of good players, Reagan Terry, Dalen Miller, these are two guys that I know you know a ton about. What do they do for you within the state of Arizona? Well, you know, Reagan is another uh, guy that, uh, you know, we had to hold off late on the early signing date. You know, went to visit, I think he went to SC there one weekend, and uh, a guy that was pretty highly recruited towards the end. And, uh, you know, these in-state players, he's right up the road about, you know, about 45 minutes. Uh, just a, a really good player uh, that we've recruited for a long time. He's getting bigger by the day, but Physical, playing defensive end, you know, Dylan Miller is another big physical receiver uh, right up the road in Phoenix. And, and so, you know, those in-state players, we're always going to start in-state uh, before we go anywhere else. And, and uh, you know, that, that, they, that really helps us. And, you know, it's easy for those guys and their parents, their families, their coaches to be around this program. And, and uh, you know, the, we're, we're, we're happy to get them here. All right, so you stay in state, but you also went out of the country a couple of times, too, so why not? And uh, we absolutely love that. But I wonder if you think back to the beginning of your career, when you're a graduate assistant, you're coaching Leif Magnuson's dad. Did you ever think, like, yeah, I might recruit your kid to my program <laughs> in about 20-some-odd years? Well, you know, there's, there's good and bad to that. When you start, you know, with the relationship, I was like, hey, man, that's, that's really cool. But then, you know, you get in the car after you leave, you leave the house, and, and you're like, wow, man, I'm getting old. I'm now coaching... <laughs> players that I coach their sons and that's you know that's that's that, that's kind of a slap in the face but no we're, the, that relationship is is it didn't hurt us um, you know and, and it was also about 27 degrees below zero there and they came on their visit here it was about 65 70 so you know it was a, it was a, it was a good match for us it's that all that certainly didn't hurt us and and uh, you know he, he is a, a strong physical guy that uh, brings attitude and, and uh, another guy that's going to help us in, in the offensive line. He's gotten bigger for any fans that are a little concerned that that's what he's going to show up. Uh, that was him as, as a little guy and certainly uh, he's gotten a, a little bit larger which I know is going to be huge for, for you coach and I know this fan base can't wait to see him uh, on the football field. Uh, you, add, you add a couple LBs that certainly is going to be a good thing. Oh, yeah. You joked uh, a second ago about feeling old and yet I think the wisdom and the experience that comes with that coach is is definitely a benefit I know the last couple seasons maybe not exactly what you had anticipated or, or want to see for this fan base in terms of wins and losses you also know because you've been in the game so long it's not like this this you snap your fingers and all of a sudden everything is going to be honky dory peaches and cream and you're winning pac-12 championships it does take time to build is there a message that you want to convey to the fan base about the trajectory uh trajection of of this program and where it's going not only this season but the next few Sure. I, I think, uh, you know, we're in a, in a phase right now last year where we, we, we needed to get bigger and, and stronger and recruit to that. Uh, a lot of first year players, whether they were freshmen and or uh, uh, transfer guys that, uh, from junior college. But, you know, we, we've got some continuity now in our offensive line, uh, which we had, you know, five different guys start in nine different games. So, you know, we only lost one of those guys. We've got a young quarterback and some young receivers that have, that have have uh, have had some success, and you know we're doing. We, we've got a new defensive staff, and I think uh, uh, our scheme and and the players that we've recruited and recruited to this scheme uh, give us a lot of excitement in the building. Just because we do have a bunch of good young players, 
uh, coming into spring football and a new defensive staff. So there's some excitement in our building, and uh, we can't wait to get going this spring. Coach, can't wait to see you guys in the spring game, not to mention on the football field this upcoming season. Best of luck to you this offseason, and we'll talk to you real soon. All right. Appreciate it, guys. Thank you.